So this is a video tour of my latest steampunk outfit. Trying to get back far enough here to give you the whole shot. I call this one my Mistress of Time, also known as the Time Fairy, because she has little steampunk wings. Get in for a closer look at that. These are actually made out of paper towels, wire, and Mod Podge, if you can believe it. Come around for a view here. The other side, with their little bottles hanging. I filled them with sand. I call her the Mistress of Time, so these are some of the sands of time. And get back here so you can get a shot of the back from a distance. Got a little striped bustle skirt. And turn her around. Ruffle collar. Lace ruff. Got little pockets right here on the each side of the breast. And a little button front waistcoat. And here we have another pocket for her pocket watch. These are all the tools of her trade. All the things she does needs as a time fairy. She's got a mirror to reflect time, scissors to cut time, various locks and keys to unlock different historical aspects. Here's a little watch here. She has some more sands of time in various colors. You need a ruler to measure time. And lenses. Let's see where are the lenses. There we go. Lenses so that she can inspect it. This is actually removable clips on right here with a little D-ring and a clip. And let's see. Under the skirt, I always... Let's see if I can just lift it up here enough so you can see. There's two layers of skirts. One is a built-in petticoat. Uh, let me lift that up. Which has layers of ruffles and lace on the inside to give it the fullness when it's hanging down. And also, if you look between the layers of skirts, I built in on each side pockets so that I can carry my things that I need to, like cameras and wallets and things, without it being shown. I also put various um, clips and hooks so that I can hang things like fans and items of that nature from it. The skirt is also made with... Um, another ring that's sewn underneath the skirt so I can bring it up and I can click it onto this hook that's here on the side. This is really hard to do one-handed. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that I can also wear it. Let me get back so you can see with one side flipped up so that I can show my um, bloomers and my suspend or spats when I'm wearing them. They're not on her right now, obviously. Okay, let's... Well, we'll just leave that up. Okay. The sleeves, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in this quality but they're really cool. I found a vintage skirt that was pretty torn up and it's layers of fabric between net and then it has these awesome little ruffles and I had enough fabric in there to make both sleeves the front of the bodice and also the little waist cincher which is pretty cool. Little layers of buttons and then in the back, which is mostly covered up here, 
by the waistcoat, but it also laces, if you can see right in there, in the back. So I think that is probably it as far as this video goes. I will be posting another video hopefully soon of myself wearing it and then I'll be able to show you the spats and the bloomers and the stockings and things of that nature. So this is it for now.